Hello everyone, welcome to Keeper Corner. My name is Stephanie and I'm one of the zoo keepers. And with me today, I have one of our larger snakes. This is Jake. And Jake is a red tail boa constrictor. He is 15 years old this year. And he weighs about 30 pounds, which is pretty heavy after a while. <laughs> So right now he's around seven feet long. These guys can get to be about nine feet long. Other boa constrictors can get to be around 15 feet long. So this is a pretty large snake. Um, he eats only one time a week, which for a large snake, you would think that they would need to eat more often, but they only need to eat one time a week so long as they have, their prey is big enough um, to sustain them. So here at the zoo, he gets one large mouse or one large rat once a week. The food that we give him is already dead. It is frozen and we thaw it and then we give it to him. So then he doesn't need to eat again for another whole week. Now in the wild, snakes can, if they eat a large meal, they can go for several months without needing to eat again. Um, even up to a year, just kind of depends on the type of snake. Where are you going, bud? <laughs> Now this guy, like I said, is a red-tailed boa constrictor. So he constricts his prey. He is not venomous, he is a constrictor. So what they do is they grab their prey and they wrap around it and they suffocate it. Now he is not wrapping around me, he is not constricting me. He is just holding on so that he does not fall off. I am too big for him to eat and he knows that. So that's not, he wouldn't even try. Now, as you can see, he's got some wonderful colors on him. They call him a red tail boa constrictor because at the end of his tail here, they do have um, kind of a reddish tail and they kind of use that as a lure for their prey. So they would kind of hold it up and kind of wiggle it a little bit, hoping that something will come along thinking that it might be food and then they can um, reach around and grab it. If you can see, maybe, let's see if I can get a close up of his head there. You can see he's sticking out his tongue now he uses that to kind of smell or kind of taste the air. Snakes have what we call a Jacobson's organ at the roof of their mouth. So they stick their tongue out, they taste the air, they catch those air particles, and then they use, they touch the roof of the, or the touch the tongue to the roof of their mouth where that Jacobson's organ is. And then they can tell what is around them, their environment. And that's one of the ways that they can go and find their food. Different snakes have um, different ways of finding food. So if you have, um, some snakes have heat pits on the side so they can actually sense the heat of other animals and they go and find their food that way. As you can see, he doesn't have those, but he really relies on that tongue for finding his food. So these guys are one of the types of snakes that give birth to live young. So when we think of snakes, we think of them laying eggs, but there are other types of snakes out there that give birth to live young, and this is one of them. These guys can have up to 60 babies at a time. That's a lot of babies. But um, they do have, like I said, 60 babies at a time. They give, them, give birth to them alive. If you get another good look at his head, you'll notice that these guys are missing something that we have, and it's not just hair. <laughs> they are missing ears. So these snakes do not have ears um, like we have. So they don't have the ear holes. Behind where their ears should be, they do have um, the mechanisms for um, the ear bones that uh, we have, but they can't hear in the same way that we do. So they don't hear sound in the same way that we do. So they hear more like vibrations and things like that. When snakes eat, they can eat things that are twice the size of them. So they can open their mouth really wide. Now we used to think that snakes can actually unhinge their jaw. But what we have found out recently is that they actually um, don't, their jaw is not fused together like ours is. It's just really flexible. They have really flexible tendons. So they're actually just really to able to stretch their jaw wide open and able to um, allow bigger food and larger food in there to be able to swallow it. So he can swallow things about the size of his midsection here. So like I said, large rodents. Um, in the wild, they might catch birds and things like that, um, reptiles, but here at the zoo, like I said, he gets uh, large rats. Remember to check our comment section for a fun activity, and thank you for um, watching the video.